Hello again. This is the Water Man Spiritual Toolbox number 273. John chapter 3, recording number 122. Audio recording number 591. And examination table number 250. Okay. I have it pre recorded, so I'm going to go ahead and I want to put it on here. We'll be in John chapter 3. Verse 21, I won't continue there. Um, <clears throat> we will continue the process of where God is realigning our old thinking process, giving us an opportunity to green light him and realign our old thinking process, those muddy balls of water in us, back into from out of that red thinking, out of that old righteousness, our own righteousness, which is filthy stinking rags, and back from all of that, back into, uh, into his righteousness, from all of two towards it into, and then E N and S Y N, resting in him and relying upon him, being in union with his way. And uh, <clears throat> his love beyond words. Okay, that's our focus, all right? God's will be done, not ours, okay? We can ask that the cup, whatever circumstances that be relayed or whatever in our lives, but the ultimate goal is nevertheless, not my will be done, but your will be done, Father, just like the pattern son did. And it, it, he gave the example, right? Jesus, Jesus, I-S-O-U-S, God is salvation. Come back to you, Father. Back to your right-mindedness. Okay, here it goes. Oh, um, John 3, uh, 21 says, But he that doeth evil cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. Okay, here we go. Hello again. This is the Water Man. Spiritual Toolbox number 273. John chapter 3. Recording number 122. Audio recording number 591. And examination table number 250. Let's continue the documento of this. Of the Word of God. The thought processes of God. Okay, that's examination. The dissecting it, laying out there on the table, so to speak, and just dissecting it. See what's in there. Get as much as you can. And God will increase that because it's the living word. Speaking of the thought processes, the pictures, God's conveying it to you. So you can drive out those former inhabitants in your land and possess it. Possess this mind of God, the love that goes beyond the description of mere words in place of that old state of thinking process. But it has to go God's way and in His timing. Okay? Knowing about it is not, not good enough. You gotta experience it in your mind. And then through that experience, of going to the optimal line, returning from that old trap, thinking that metanoia, and going in full board back to God, He's appearing within you a little bit at a time. And it's, uh, hurrah, oh, it's with a great, it's through that great experience and that enlightenment. Oh my, He's bringing it back and giving you the ability to love as He does. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more each time. He's bringing that faith, that see the faith back into the truthfulness of God. Not just letting it lie dormant in your earth, in your earthly thinking. If you if you let it lie dormant and do nothing, reject God your whole life, your whole natural life, there's still that seed of faith. It's very, very lightweight, very, very little, like the least in the kingdom of God. But it'll, it's an insurance that God has not lost time. But you're just extremely lightweight in that area of your thinking. 
speak it here in a little bit. It's P-O-I-E-O. It's a verb. Um, in the Strong's it means to do or make. In the Thayer's it means to produce, to construct, to form, to fashion, to make a path, to exercise Strong activity. G, 4160. Boyeo. 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 <laughs> it, was, it was showing that it was processing, but it was just taking us time uh, coming up there. I knew it was going to do that. <laughs> okay? So this exercise activity in each person, each thought process at each person, okay? That's that doeth, okay? It's to continue, okay? And then right below that again is that muddy ball of water. Ha, they don't translate. 3588, ha. So you're practicing, you're, you're continuing, you're exercising activity in each one of those thought processes. You're ex exercising green lighting God. A green in hot pursuit is God's way. Turning from that old way, you're habitually practicing it. Because that's what proso means. It's parao, P-O-I-E-O, uh, uh, P -O -I -E -O, okay? I'm not going to wait on it to pronounce it again. <laughs> it might pronounce, pronounce it about a minute or two later, but, you know, <laughs> it's kind of like interrupting you. But it's like to continue. Continue in each activity, in each one of those thought processes to green light God, okay? And now that, in that muddy ball of water, in your mind. God's purifying, giving the opportunity to purify that muddy ball of water you're stinking thinking back into his righteousness. Your soul is thinking that mixed up double mindedness, that double minded thinking. And a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. He's like, doesn't have any gravity to hold his feet down so he can walk between that parted flesh when God's chopping it out, skimming it out, way out, as you agree, 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 and to Him, He's giving you the ability to walk through that. Because without Him, you can't even chop it out, and you can't walk through anything. You're going like 90 mile an hour, and you don't have no gravity holding you down, no love of God. Hmm? Your love is very, that old natural love is so manipulative and hateful and uh, so mixed up, you can't trust it. Huh? 
It's not true love. It's not that love that's beyond the description of your words. Thank you. That's the gravity. Holding you down so you walk it, live it, exist, 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 back in the God. Hmm? Only God can bring you back. Right? <clears throat> now, the next word right after that, they translate it as truth. Tw uh, 225 A L E T H E I A. Let's see if we can get it to pronounce it. Strong's G 225. Aletheia. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and it means truth in the Strong's. And the Thayer's, what is true in any manner under consideration. And then it's got opposed to what is feigned, fictitious, and false. That carnal To be carnal on this enmity with God. Okay? The carnal mind is against. It says against in the King James, but it's in two. It's against you going ice. In two. Two towards and in two. The right mindedness of God. It's just fictitious, false, and it's feigned. It's, you know, you don't want that stuff. I got that highlighted in red. Okay? This truth is the green way. What is true in any manner of under any manner under consideration. Okay? <coughs> so here we're exercising these muddy balls. Alright? This exercise this activity. Continue exercising the screenway. Exercising that act activity of going back in, resting, relying in God's right mindedness, His love beyond words, and in union, S Y N, in union with God's right mindedness. In your mind, in your holy of holies, in that muddy ball's water that's being purified, let God help you like Lazarus. Lazarus' name means whom God helped. What did he do? Call Lazarus out of the grave. What is he doing to you? Calling you out of your grave, out of your stinking thinking. And it's, it's not a coincidence that the words, some, a lot of the words like Sheol and Hades, it's a grave, it's a pit. It's not this everlasting punishment junk that they make up. That's that fictitious, feigned, false stuff. Mm, that's interpreting it with that red way, with that old car of mine. See, yeah, I told you God was a big bad boy. No, he's not. God is my exceeding great reward. God's not a monster messed up, had to do all this. Evil, bless it. Don't make God evil. Mm -mm. Make God. Acknowledge that God is the truth. He's the greatest. Make God true. And all that humanistic thinking, all this anthropos thinking, all this red stuff here, this red band horse crap thinking, your own strength and your own humanity. Right? Make it a liar. Hmm? No, that stuff sucks. It's monstrous rags. It's poop. It's done. Get out of here. Right? And possess that land, your mind, in this place. There's two. In your earth, in your field, in your land, your mind. One will be taken, one left. That old carnal stuff, that old things, the ones you're driving out. Ooh, yeah, beat it. God's beat. God's driving it out. As you green light, green light, green light him. Hmm? Come back into your right mindedness. My child, come back to me. Come on, here, I got a great big old meal fixed for you. We'll have a great big part time. Hmm? Get out of that hog slop. Quit eating that stuff. It's no good for you. You're poisoning yourself. Can you see that? It's letting you experience that. Experience that. Just like the product you're saying, right? <coughs> so, um. Okay. Yeah, to exercise activity. Going from out of egg, ice, two towards and into the EN resting upon God and SYM, 
uh, in union with God. And it's with God's truthfulness, God's righteousness, God's love beyond the mere description of words. Hmm. Coming from this low way to the higher way, from your red endemic yuck thinking to your filthy mistress rags to God's righteousness. Okay. <clears throat> now, after truth, the word cometh. They, they translate that as cometh. C O M E T H. It's spelled E R C H O M A I 2064. We covered this before. Er, I, know, I think so. Er, 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 Stuff a little more settled down there. <laughs> Alright. That erhama is a verb. Okay. It, well, it means to come from one place to another and used of a person or persons arriving and returning. <clears throat> it means to appear or to make one's appearance. As you green light God in you, he's making his appearance in you. You're gaining the ability to love as God first loved you, as he loves you now. <clears throat> to take that child, that, un the, that love that's beyond words, that God loves us, and bring it back so we're appe it's appearing in you, so you're able to return, repay that, love him coming, approaching in a higher level, that's the same way he loves you. Little by little by little by little, you're coming back, you're being restored. Coming home to your daddy. Alright. <sighs> this, this word, erhamai, is used only in the present and imperfect tenses. And that imperfect is ongoing or continuously. So it's back in the, uh, it, all of it. And then presently, right now, it's ongoing. It's permanent. And he's, he's continuing. He's adding it together. He's accumulating it and bringing it into union with him. As you green light him, it's giving you permanent increases. Wow. Not this stuff based upon your dedication. Because that's very, like, flim flammy. It's all over the place. Double minded. Your way of thinking is a double-minded man. It's very unstable. Double-minded individual. You can't really count on that. It might change its mind. You know, well, it's good. I thought it was good. No, it's bad. It's good. It's bad. It's good. It's bad. It's double-minded. It's boop, boop, boop. It's your mind power. Your dedication. Hmm. You're chasing that, but it, without the power of God... Backing it without God's insignia, what are you doing? You're trying to do it out of your own, me, myself, and I. See, water baptism, you're choosing to uh, dedicate yourself to God. That's that's good, that's great. Uh, so Jesus was baptized. But then it goes on. He baptized with the with the Holy Spirit and in fire. Huh? Not this, you know, just leave you there. And then maybe say, if the whole bag's sleeved, you know, when, God, when God's giving you them increases, you don't buy a slide. Huh? It's permanent. God's changing you little bit by little bit by little bit. He's not going boom, but burning you never mess up again. No, you're going to mess up. He's going to bring that stuff out. Not to condemn you to hell, but so that you see it. Now, should we probably drop this or skim this out too, my child? If you go hot pursuit of him, he'll chop a little bit more of it out. Take a little bit more of it out. In those fiery trials, in that tribulation, and calamities, in those storms of your life. If not, it doubles. 
You can't mess up no more, all that. Nah. God's, God's load tested. He's bringing it back in there. He's purifying a little bit at a time. Line upon line, precept upon precept, okay? Come on. <clears throat> now, the word right after that, what's he bringing it to? Light. 5457 at Fos, P H O S, this word. Strong's G, 5457. Fos. Uh huh. Fos. And I covered that before. So it's just in short, it's his illuminating power. His illumin illumining power. He's bringing it to light. Okay, he's bringing it from your own righteousness up to his righteousness. From your love that's just manipulative, it's very conditional. Okay, up to his love that's beyond the description of mere words. Your understanding of that love. He's increasing it. He's giving you the increase into his right mindedness. Okay? Now, you can go way deeper than that. I went a little deeper before in this. You can go back and listen to it. But it goes on and on. It's God's greatness. God is love and God is light. Coming back into God's character. His illumining power. Oh my goodness, just opening it up a little bit at a time, just like that hurrah oh, and you, oh my goodness, that increase. And you're through much experience, you're like, oh my goodness, this is so great. Thank you, Father, thank you, Father, thank you. Right? <coughs> now. The next word. Let's see. Oh, next word after that is Hina, H-I-N-A, 2443, and they translate that as that. It's in order that, denoting the purpose um, or the result. Coming back in the God, try minding this. Greenlighting God, in order that you greenlight God. Okay? If you're a red lighting God, you're falling away. Falling away. Ah, ah, yuck. I got my foot, my foot, my lifestyle, my existence stuck in a big patch of crap. Buddy, it's not my buddy. Sucker me down. Oh, ho, ho. Right? Gotta come out of that. Go the green way. Come into God. Full war. In order that, just go in the right way. Alright? God's righteousness, okay? And maybe manifest. May be made, may be made manifest. That's where they translate this next word. Um, 5319, P H A N E R O O. This word. Strong's G, 5319. Fighting Rao. Fighting Rao. Okay. Now I'm going to stop here so I've segmented it. And I'll start the next one from here, okay? I think I might, might need to ice my head a little bit. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, that was all of it on this one. And I'll start the next one on the next. I had it segmented. So uh, <clears throat> I'll continue. That one was uh, Spiritual Toolbox number 273. And the next one I'll be continuing. I think it finishes up that verse. Uh, or maybe, let me, hold on. No. <laughs> Got two more. Okay. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Uh, I got it. Uh, I'll continue later. <laughs> Bye-bye.